بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد أي الأحباب we love those whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves the awliya of Allah azza wa jal and anyone who speaks and hates those proven awliya of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you have to question their faith so for example we know sinners or ignorant and sinful or depending on from Iraq, they're coming from Lebanon. <laughs> فَتَفَرَّقَ بِكُمْ عَنْ سَبِيلِهِ ذَلِكُمْ وَصَاكُمْ بِهِ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says And this is my command for you in order that you might have taqwa, in order that you may be God conscious or, or fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's in Surah Al-An'am. This is the Quran. This is the speech of Allah. But those people deny that the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam radiyallahu ta'ala majma'een are praiseworthy or that they're even Muslim. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al-kareem inna ladhina faraku deenahum wa kana shi'an lasta minhum fi shay inna ma amaruhum ilallahi thumma yunabbiahum yunabbahum bi You should not be concerned with them. Verily, verily, uh, Should we have concern with them? However, we should reject their falsehood and we should refute it if we have the ability to do so. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al kareem Wuman yashakik a rasul min badi ma tabayna lahu huda wu yat tabay ghayr sabil al mu'mineen nawallihi ma tawalla unuslihi jahannam 
وسات مصيرا الله تبارك وتعالى says في كتاب الكريم in سورة النساء he said whoever differs with the uh, messenger after it has become after guidance has become clear look at this again the hujjah Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always establishes the proof he always gives the evidence to his creation he gives them the opportunity to believe he gives them the opportunity to follow sunnah he gives them opportunity to follow the sabil mu'minin the path of the believers but then they always go astray so the people go astray after the truth has come to them after that uh, the things have been made clear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says وَمَنْ يَشَاكِكَ رَسُولٌ مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا تَبَيَّنَ لَهُ هُدَى وَيَعْتَبِ غَيْرَ سَبِيلَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ Whoever differs with the messenger after guidance has become clear and he follow and follows the path of other than the Muslims, other than the believers, then he will be with those whom he loves and we shall uh, we will put them with those who he loves and we will burn him or roast him in Jahannam and what an evil destination this is the case of Ahla Zandaka the her heretics those people who hate the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and hate the Sabil al-Mu'mineen the path of the believers and hate the Sunnah of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam which is comprised of the Jama'ah of Muslimin which was codified by the Jama'ah and who was Ahl Sunnah to the Jama'ah who was the Salaf of this Ummah who was the, the first of the Salaf it is the Sahaba to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Radiyallahu Ta'ala Anu Majma'een Allah Subh'ana Ta'ala says in Kitab Al-Kareem وَسَابَكُونَ الْأَوَلُونَ مِنَ الْمُحَاجِرِينَ وَالْأَنْصَارِ وَالَّذِينَ اَعْتَبَهُمْ بِإِحْسَانِ رَضِيَاللَّهُ عَنْهُمْ وَرَضُوا عَنْهُ وَعَدَّ لَهُمْ جَنَّاتٍ تَجْرِ مِنْ تَحْتِ الْأَنْحَارِ خَالِدِينَ فِيهَا بَدَى ذَلِكَ الْفَوْزُ الْعَظِيمِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem showing us that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this is the strongest proof from the Qur'an that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he praised them in the Qur'an and they are pleased with him and he has prepared for them paradise under which uh, rivers flow forever and, and that is the greatest success this is the case of the mu'min this is the case of the believers those from Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah who follow the Sabil al Sahaba radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in so any time A person like this if they don't want to accept goodness righteousness the truth based on kitab then you really have nothing in common with them as believers yes you're they're human beings but you should do your best to avoid people like that even if you see them in the mosques of the believers of the Muslims that avoid them and do not let them teach and do not let them have a podium to spread their